So what do you got here? What I have is a dollar bill. OK. What makes it valuable is that signature right there. Clark Abel. So frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> well, I hope you do give a damn, sir, okay. because I think it's mm -hmm. neat. I came to the pawn shop today to try to sell my Clark Gable signature, and it's on a World War II short snorter. This might be the opportune time to sell it. I would like to come in around uh, 5000 So here is my short snorter. What's the short snorter? It was a custom in World War II. After you came back from a successful mission, everyone in that mission would sign the dollar bill, and you were supposed to carry it with you. And if you were in a social setting, and someone would say, where's your short snorter? If he couldn't produce that, he would have to buy a round of drinks. Yeah, flying on bomber missions during World War II was extremely dangerous. So they had a lot of rituals because they needed anything for luck. Right, so this is my uncle. He flew in World War II and he flew with Clark Gable. Why does a middle-aged man who's obviously really well off join the military? His wife and his mother-in-law were killed like a month after Pearl Harbor. And he actually called President Roosevelt and asked to do more than sell war bonds. And he enlisted at the age of 40. Clark Gable was one of the biggest movie stars in Hollywood history. So when he volunteered for the Army Air Corps in 1942, it was a huge deal. I know he didn't do his full 25 bombing missions. Correct. I mean, the last thing in the world the military wanted was for Clark Cable to die. Well, they were told to protect him. Oh, I'm sure they were. Hitler actually um, did put a reward out for him. And there was a special reward if you could capture Clark Cable. So what do you want to do with this? You want to pawn it? You want to sell it? I am leaning towards the selling side. I have not seen anyone who has a Clark Gable short snorter in okay. their collection. Let me go call my buddy Drew. He can tell us if the autograph's real or not. Sounds good to me. Okay. I really like the story behind this thing. I'm dying to find out if this was really Clark Gable's. Hey, guys. Hey, Drew, how you doing, buddy? Good to see you guys. We have a dollar bill signed by Clark Gable. Clark Gable on a dollar bill. Uh, that's back when a dollar bill was worth something, huh? The guys usually call me down when they have an autograph they think might be forged, so they want to make sure and double check on it. Clark Gable's signatures are very collectible. He's mostly known for Gone with the Wind, uh -huh. you know, probably the biggest movie of all time. I know he joined the Air Corps around 1942 after his wife died. Uh -huh. Actually, he died in a plane crash just outside of Las Vegas. So what's on the back of it? This verified where he, my uncle was commissioned in 1943. Right. This was a pilot with the Royal Air Force because they shared the same airfield. Mm -hmm. And then these were the other gentlemen who flew escort. Clark was the gunner on the bombers, and he was also filming. I think he was yeah. filming Combat America or something. Right, recruitment films. Like a them. documentary right. film. Clark Gable's signature is pretty rare. Definitely a big time actor. Well, there's four major areas of Clark Gable's signature that we want to look for. He makes a very specific design for his capital C. Yeah, very odd uh, K that he makes. He would write uh, his capital G like a nine. And the fourth and final critical area is that the last part of the last name drops off the baseline and it'll droop. Well, if you take into account the four major areas and all the other evidence that I can see, there's no doubt, it's definitely authentic. Exactly. Is it? Absolutely. Oh, good, <laughs> good, 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 good. So Drew, what do you think it's worth? Well, it's fascinating because it has all these World War II fighter pilots, but they're not going to, you know, increase the value. Card Gable's signature is very valuable and collectible. Uh, I don't know, I'm saying retail around 500 framed up. I would say probably about right. I was looking for more than that. I took notice online that a Bing Crosby short snorter sold for 9000 No, I think $500 is, is, is a fair price. I really do. So I'm going to stick with that. OK. All right, very good. Thanks, Drew. You bet. Talk to you soon. Uh, Clark Gable's signature is pretty rare. If it's on a contract or something like that, it would shoot the price up. But it's on a dollar bill, so there's a limited price for it. Uh, I was a little disappointed with the number. I would have liked, you know, closer to the 5,000 mark. Uh, there's some neat history with it, but it is what it is. OK. We're somewhere in the area of around 100 bucks. 500 bucks is what I can expect to get out of it in a retail market. That's after I frame it. That's after I pay a guy to sell it. That's after I hang it on the wall and take up real estate in the store. All that stuff is money, 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 money. 
I think I could find someone who would pay more than 100 Okay. Good luck to you. Hey, thank you. I was disappointed with the offer. I truly was. For $100, I'll frame it myself.